Well, it may not feel like there's any upside to the state of the American economy, but in a way, there is. A record number of people are trying to unload their homes, homes in which they, what they owe is more than what the home is worth. And this opens up an opportunity for those of us looking for a foreclosure deal. Carla Duglin from the American Homeowners Association says if you've got the cash for a down payment, this may be a good time to take advantage of foreclosures and incentives. There are a lot of incentives out there. There are. There are builders who are looking to give you incentives, free flat screens, vacations, if you have the cash to put down on a home right now. And that's the big question. If you know, but a lot of people are saying, well, if I have my expendable cash, I better hold on to it because of the state of the economy. It's almost like a double-edged sword here, right? Carl? It is. But if you take some cash out and you know that you need to buy a home in the mm -hmm. next two, three years, then you need to make sure that you're buying smart. That is the key. Because a lot of people have cash and they're, you know, they need to make sure that they have a secure more mortgage before they go and look for a property. That is the number one tip. Exactly. And the lenders are being very strict. The rules have changed. Rules of the game have the changed. Rules no have more zero down. Absolutely changed. No more no-doc loans. No more zero down loans. They really are looking for people that they know can have a mortgage for the long term. They can handle a mortgage for the long term. So 720 credit scores, where it used to be about 640 you can mm -hmm. get into a house, you mm -hmm. really need to make sure that your credit score is up about 720. You need to have 10 to 20 percent down mm -hmm. on a property. And also also, you need to make sure that your debt to income ratio is below the 35% kind of mark. Mm. So if you're starting to look for a mortgage, start pulling your bank statements for the last six months, mm -hmm. get written verification of your employment history mm -hmm. so that you can show a lender this is the package that I come with. But it's much more difficult, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah. it is. I mean, people are going to have to shop around and look mm -hmm. for the best rate and look for something that's going to work for them in the long term. It is difficult. but. If you start to work with a couple of different lenders, you'll see the deals come out. Okay. And do you have to put more money down on a foreclosure, Carla, because it's already such a risky bet? The bank already sees it as a Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you're really, again, you're going to have to put the 10 to 20 percent down if you do found a property that's going to work for you. But what I always tell people is if you're going to buy a foreclosure, be very wary about it because mm. there could be some hidden baggage in there. I mean, foreclosures come with vandalism. They come with damage to the property. There's mm. theft. A lot of people are going in and stealing like copper piping yeah. from property. Oh, yeah. So that. you're going to have to spend more money just to get that property fixed up mm. before you actually get in it. So you want to make sure that you yourself do the research, take a walk around the neighborhood, see if it's a neighborhood that's going to work for you, call the police department to see if they've had a lot of um, crime reports in that neighborhood lately. Uh -huh. So that's, those are things that you can do yourself to ensure that you're getting the best property. Good point, because you don't want to invest in a house that's in the neighborhood that's been decimated by foreclosures, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's, there are a lot of foreclosures that are going through huge crime sprees. There are oh. people, unwanted people setting up in the property, and, right. and you don't want that. You want to make sure that when you go into a house, especially if it's your first home, mm -hmm. that it's going to be a house that you can live with for the long term. It's going to work for okay. you. Okay. What's, what's the, um, this redemption period after foreclosure? closure well that's something that people really have to be very careful about in certain states there are there's a redemption period which means that the previous owner can come back and as long as they pay all the fees and pay you what you've paid they will then own the house so if you're looking at a property as your first time property within six months if the homeowner gets a bunch of money, they can come back to the state and say, here's all the money that I owed on the property, here's the money for the fees, I'd like my house back, please. Really? And that's something that a lot of people don't realize is a possibility with foreclosures. It's re re redemption period is not in New York, but there are in other states, so people need to make sure that they know their state procedures. Good, and especially if you're looking maybe to buy an investment property with the markets, oh, yeah. you better check that policy in other states. Absolutely. Wow, that is scary. Oh, buy smart. Buy Carla smart. Douglas, such a pleasure to have you in Thank all the way you. from Maryland. Thank you so much. Good advice. The book is called? The Foreclosure Workbook. It's the complete guide to understanding foreclosure and saving your home. Very good. Everybody pick up a copy of that. Thank Absolutely. you very much, Carla. Thank all you. Righty.